Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll talk about what the advantage is of using magnet regions over um, transition regions, and especially when using for adaptive music. All right, let's create an event, 2D timeline, let's call this music. Um, let me drag in a song that I created last week. Beginning a bit. Sounds like this. So, since the song was created in Ableton Live and I know what the tempo is, let's uh, insert a tempo marker. The tempo of the song is set to 117 BPM. So let's put this at the beginning. Now you can clearly distinguish three regions here. So the first eight bars is just the, the piano on solo. And then the second region is from 9 to 17, so also 8 bars. It's the same piano loop, but there's a couple of extra sounds being added. Some, uh, some textural stuff. And then after 16 bars, so at the start of 17, this is where basically the track begins. Let's create a loop region for all three regions. So we have a region here, and one over here, and one over here. And let's extend this to the end. Like this. Okay. So what you could do is add destination markers. So we essentially want to create a system where you could go from any region to any other region. Now, I created a marker A for here. Let's copy and paste it. Marker B here and marker C here. You could create a transition region to markers A, B, and C and then you would need to copy these um, transition regions over every region. So let's do that. Let's create a transition uh, region to marker A. Now, since we're already in A, you don't want to go to A, but we could place that here under B. And let's set the quantization interval to two bars. Now I want this to be dependent on a parameter. So let's add a condition parameter condition, let's create a new one. Um, now you could use a user continuous where you would have to uh, use a specified range and then you could set manual intervals um, at which the parameter value would have to be in order to comply with the condition here to mac make the transition. Now in a case like this it's easier to just use user labeled. Um, it already has three values by default, so we could just use that. So let's call this um, progression. Now, marker A is quantized to two bars and has a condition that the progression parameter has a value of A. All right, let's um, do it again, transition region to marker B. Quantize it to two bars, add a condition, progression, and set this to B. Now, I also want one to go to marker C. Add a condition, progression, quantize it, set the condition to value C. 
Now we can just copy these things around. So from A, you want to be able to go to B and C. And from B, you want to go to A and B. So we can copy over C, put that here. And then we can copy over marker B to here. And just resize that. And then marker A will be put over here. Let's extend this a bit. Tidy it up a bit. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so let's make a transition to marker B. And now to C. Now, these markers here, they aren't really necessary, to be honest, in a case like this. So let's delete these. So what you could also do is just re rename your loop regions. So we could say that this loop region is called A. Double click, call this B. C. Now, the, the destinations of the transition regions are gone because I just deleted them. So we're gonna have to reset these. Set destination two. You can see that the markers uh, are now grayed out because I deleted them. So now let's set these to the loop regions. So this one will be go to B, C, Right, so let's try this again. Yeah, so that works perfectly. Now, th the main problem with this is that you're kind of disrupting the continuity of the music. So, for example, if I'm playing right here, and then at this first dimly lit green line, which indicates the quantization interval, if I set my value to B, it will make a transition to here, but it will make a transition to the beginning of this region. And it would have been a lot nicer if it would have been relative. So if I make a transition at this point to region B, it would also continue at this point within region B. Or for example, if I would make a transition midway the region that it would also continue playing in the other region midway. Now, there is obviously a way to do it with this system, um, but that would involve to create all these tiny loops and make a lot more transition regions. So then within uh, region A, you would basically have to divide it up into four different parts and then also have four different destinations here. So from every point you could go to every other point. Now it is technically possible, and I've done this before in the past, but there is a way easier uh, way to do this right now um, when the magnet regions were introduced. So let me just show you how that works. So for this I'm just going to delete all of these markers. And we're going to create a magnet region. Now, what a magnet region does is if you play outside of a magnet region, it will automatically attract and start playing at the beginning of that region. So no matter where I am, it will always um, be magnetized by this region and start playing from here. However, we can make this dependent on a parameter. This is where the real power comes in. So for example, this was our first region, and we can add a condition to this. And let's call this progression. And then if we set this to value A, it will always start playing here, but only when this parameter is set to A. So if I set it to B, then it won't do that. Now, 
We can also give um, magnet regions quantization intervals. So let's set this to two as well. Um, with magnet regions, the uh, quantization interval is not being indicated by dimly lit green lines or red lines in, in this case, but only here in the, uh, in the region itself. So let's copy this over. Let's create another region here. Let's set this to value B. We'll create another one right here. Extend this a bit. And set this to value C. Right. Let's see how this works. So it goes to value A. Set it to C. Now, even though it did wait for the, the quantization interval and it uh, made the transition halfway this region, it did still go to the beginning of this magnet region. Now, there's this new functionality in here called offset, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you set this to relative, then it will always continue playing where it made the transition in the other region. So for example, if I start playing here, And I'm going to make a transition at 5 to B. Let's do that right now. You can see that it continues playing halfway. So if I go to C now. So this saves you a tremendous amount of time. If you uh, do it like this, it's uh, way more efficient and you don't have to set, set up so many markers and destinations. So uh, kudos to the FMOD team for introducing magnet regions to us. All right. Thanks for watching and as always, have a nice day and take care. Cheers.